Welcome back to Drum Electric. So welcome back to Drum Electric. As always, if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, then it's great to see your beautiful, beautiful face. Especially to those new people, because we've now hit just over 100 subscribers, which to me is just a great feeling. I mean, I can't thank enough of you for that. Uh, it's not the biggest milestone in the world, but it is to me. You know, like, we've got a nice little drum family going on. It's a good time. So this one is a real quick video. It's something that's come up recently in the coming times, in the times where we're all now using Zoom and where various things are being updated and stuff like that. Now, I'm a fool and I like to keep everything up to date. Just Catalina. I mean, I appreciate it, but Mojave is Mojave? The one before, Mojave, I think, is still my best one. The, the, if you're still on that, just don't upgrade. It's not worth it. So I'm the most up to date as you can be on a Mac, and I've done the same thing on Zoom. Now, this is going to be a real quick session where I'm just going to talk about the issue with Zoom and how they took out support for virtual cameras. Now, if you've seen any of my recent videos, the How to Stream Drums sort of mini series, the three part series, then you would have seen every time I loaded up Zoom, there was a little notification saying, please update Zoom. But that update was there. Because I was still on version 4.6, I think. Anything after that, they discontinued the use or the support for virtual cameras. All I can use is the webcam in my Mac, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. So I didn't update. I just kept it there. And that was that. But now, as of last month, I believe, you have to update to use Zoom. Now, I fully understand security reasons and stuff like that, but it did mean that I now can't use all the virtual cameras. So there I was, searching away on internet. I should, I should stop. I should really stop. There I was, on the old interwebs, searching how I can get this support back for virtual cameras, because it's kind of important. And there it was, in its beautiful shining glory, the fix to all of my problems. With this, a quick disclaimer, this video was found through a guy called Javits Productions. Now, obviously I'm in no way associated with this guy. I'm purely making this video as sort of the messenger. He came up with the stuff, he has the answers. I'm just forwarding on this information to you guys so the most awareness can be made from it because I know a lot of you rely on virtual cameras and and using different things within Zoom. So please go over to his video, that's Javis Productions, uh, show him some love as all of this is for him. I didn't come up with this, this is him, I'm just falling on the information. So please go show some love, subscribe, comment, like his video. You can find that in the description down below. So let's do this. Thank you Javits Production for coming up with the fix you the best. Okay. So it's a little matrixy, but stick with me. I believe in you, you can do it. First things first is make sure you're all up to date with Zoom. Now I'm running Zoom version 5.05. As of this video, that's the most up to date version. And that's on Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.4. This is just a fix for Mac. I don't have a fix for Windows purely because I don't use it. So if you do use Windows and you do have a fix or you can point us in the right direction of someone else that's got a fix, please comment it down below. It will be great great to see that for all of our Windows users out there. Now, once you're all up to date on Zoom running version 5, or if you're in the near future and there's still no support, whichever version is out there, make sure you're completely up to date. Then quit Zoom. Don't minimize it because that is a thing on Macs. Make sure you head up to the top, go Zoom US in your top bar, and then down to quit Zoom. Make sure that bad boy is completely out of the picture. And that's it, we're done. No, I'm kidding. From here, you're gonna wanna whack open terminal. Now this is where you're gonna feel like you're in the matrix. All right. It's not very difficult. You just have to copy and paste two things, which you can find in the description. Now, first things first, you want to copy that first line, the X code, blah, blah, blah. Chuck it into terminal and hit enter. Okay. Up next on terminal, you'll get a little password and the lock sign. Now, a pre-warning with this is you can type in anything and nothing will pop up. So normally when you type in a password, you get those little dots, right? With this, you won't get that, but it is typing. Okay. So you just got to trust yourself that you're typing in the right password. If you don't type in the right password, it'll just pop up again. That's totally fine. Okay. So type in your password. This is the password that you use to log into your Mac. Hit enter. If that's all worked, then you should get a pop-up saying, 
I want to install this thing. That's totally fine. Install it. I have myself. This is exactly the method I used again from Javits Productions and All is Hunky Dory. Okay, so once you've hit that install button, it should take around five or so minutes, give or take, depending on your Wi Fi connection. So once that's installed, then you want to go back into terminal. It should still be open. You don't want to close this at any point. And then you want to copy and paste that second line into it from the description just underneath the first one. Okay, that's the pseudo code design, blah, blah, blah. Blah. Okay, just copy that straight from the description into terminal. Again, I've done it myself, completely all hunky dory, it does work. So once that's all finished installing, it will go boop and you're good to go. From here, all we then need to do is just exit out of our matrix console once you've finished gloating to all your friends and family that you know how to control the universe, and then load up Zoom. From here, you will get all the passwords and permissions to be like, hey, I need to use your camera, hey, I need to use your microphone, all that stuff. All good, that's exactly the same when you first install Zoom. Don't worry, you haven't lost any of your data, it's just re-going permissions because essentially we've changed some on the back end. So once everything's good and you've loaded up Zoom, you haven't seen those two black cats repeat themselves, themselves from the matrix, then you should be able to head onto your video settings and see that virtual camera pop up once more. It works all great, that's the fix for it, and if this ever happens again in the future, you, this just come back to this video here, or Javits Productions video, and that's where you can find the answer. Again, all of this was discovered by Javits, the man himself, so please, like I said earlier, go show him some love. I'm purely the messenger, none of this credit goes to me, all of it goes to him. Okay, and that's it. It's a nice quick video, it's a nice quick fix, but it's kind of a big deal for those of us that are using these virtual cameras and different things. Now, obviously, I'm using Wirecast for all of this. Again, if you haven't checked out my How to Stream Drums video, you can find that up here. And as you can see, I'm using Wirecast to stream out from it. But this should work with any virtual camera that you're using. It's just one of those annoying fixes that so far Zoom haven't implemented back into Zoom. So that's that. As I've said, please go show Javits Production some love. It's their fault that I can make this video, that I can pass on this information to you guys. And it's absolutely something that you should go and show them some love to because it's their fault this is fixed now. So have fun. I hope this has helped. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for all of our shiny new videos. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>